Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome! And since you're here already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification down below so you wouldn't miss any of my videos anymore in the future. So, why are we here? <laughs> so, I actually posted this video last night and apparently editing at 2 a.m. is not the best idea. <laughs> so, what happened was the video quality is pretty good. However, the audio quality is pretty bad. I know that it's my fault because up until now, I still haven't gotten a good quality microphone. So I mostly just record tutorials um, with, the ex with the microphone of my laptop or my phone. It depends on whichever I'm using. So I know I really should get one soon, but I don't want to have that video um, be put into way. So what I did is I do some tweaking and adjustment using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I think you can do that, this in probably some other tools that you're using for editing. But as for me, I'm using Premiere Pro and I decided to make it a tutorial because I actually improved the quality of the audio really, really good without even using a microphone. So if you want to know how I did it, stay tuned. By the way, before I start this tutorial, I want to um, do a big shout out and thank you for Chinilao TV for, you know, pointing out the the audio quality. Um, I really accept feedback. So if you guys have any more feedback or suggestion for my future videos, please do comment, leave a comment down below and I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. <music> So I'm going to show you how I can improve the audio of this project that I'm working on. So for this one, this first clip actually is um, has an okay audio, but along throughout the way, throughout the other clips on my timeline, it doesn't really sound as good. The gain is really low because I'm just using the microphone of my laptop when re when I record the, the tutorial. So it's not really the best audio. And I think I really have to get a microphone um, soon. I'm on the hunt in the market. So if you guys have any suggestion, please comment in the description down below so I can check them out. So but right now, since I don't have microphone yet, I can do some tweaks and um, apply some effects using Adobe Premiere Pro in order for me to improve the quality of the audio. So I'm just gonna show you how this first clip sound like and it's actually okay but I'm gonna compare it with the ones that are very low in terms of audio. So let me play this for you. Hi guys welcome back to my channel. This is my fifth video on my how to's on YouTube series. So so that's what it sounds like and um, that is pretty okay for me. I just want to kind of maintain that along um, my timeline in all of the, the clips that I have in here. So, but this is what it sounds like from the original screen recording that I have. It's NCS. It stands for no copyright sounds. So they offer a lot of different music that we can use so the reason why I actually um, have, uh, I'm doing this tutorial is because when I uploaded this video, I got comments, a um, few comments saying that they can't really hear the audio and I don't want to waste my video. So I figured that I have to take it down and re-upload it once I improve the audio. Since we're here, I'm just going to um, show you how will I do it. So I already have... I already have improved this one um, and then I'm going to show you later on how I did it. But let me play this for you. Here, You are most probably interested on where and how to get good music for your YouTube videos and where is the best place to do that. So I think that's pretty good for me um, compared to this one right here. When looking for non-copyright music is NCS. It sounds so you can really tell the difference of this 
audio clip to this one like the gain and the noise the background is really really different this one is pretty um, professional when you listen to it in my opinion than this one that you can't really hear what I was saying so let's go ahead and do that all right so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to audio workspace so I can see all of the things I need all in one since we're working on the audio for this project so I'm gonna improve this clip as you can see and when you do compare let me um, pull this so we can see the um, the waves of the sounds here so this clip has much higher um, amplification if that's the correct term um, than this one that you can't really um, almost not hear whatever I'm saying so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on it and on the right hand side we have the essential sound here and first what we're gonna do is we want to assign a tag to this clip and for this one this is actually a dialogue so I'm just gonna click on that one and as you can see that the preset is now on default we want to change it to balance female voice but before i do that i, I want to show you um the audio here as you can see we only have the volume here and the panner no other no other other um audio effects here but if i change this preset to ba balance female voice since i'm female um, you can you know also change it to other uh presets that you may want and you might be you might want to use balanced male voice if you are a male. Um, for me, I'm gonna use balanced female voice. Um, this is under dialogue and right then, right off the bat, we can see here the other um, added effects. So we have the vocal enhancer, we have graphic equalizer and individual parameters and dynamic processing, the answer and other things in here and as you can see here, from the very low gain we have, if I can play it again, looking for non-copyright music is NCS. It stands for no copyright sounds. That alone already have improved everything without even, you know, like adding other effects just yet. Just by um, tagging it as a dialogue and creating a preset or selecting a preset here, we already have improved everything. So from there, you can always, you know, edit it the way you want it. You can probably go to, for example, I want to go to vocal enhancer and I will just edit it. Um, I will change it to male, for example. I won't do that, but I'm, I'm just showing you that you can still tweak it the way you want it to. So one other effects that I'm going to show you is if I go to um, effects here and then I'm going to look for multi band compressor other under audio effects amplitude and compression. So I'm just going to drag it and put it here and it will be added on our effect controls panel here. And as you can see, here's the multi band compressor. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on edit under cons custom setup and the presets here is on default but you can select other things too like for example um, when we want broadcast and then if I play that one so you can see here the dials are you know already preset <laughs> hence preset <laughs> for us and then if I like just play it for you so they offer a lot of different music that we can use for our YouTube video so you can select different ones that whatever applies for your project. Um, let's, for example, we have here enhanced lows. So if we go to their channel or um, let's say enhanced highs, you can see that there, there are a lot of options that you can choose from. And so um, I think I like broadcast more. It, it sound, sounded more professional. For a lot of different... But since I'm going for a more consistent um, audio with the first clip that I have, I'm just going to put it on by default. But like I've said, this is another thing that you can go to and 
just adjust the dials um, as you would like it to be based on what you think is best for your audio. So let's hear this again. My favorite channel to go to when looking for non-copyright music is NCF. So again, comparing it with this one, with the next, with our next clip here. Let's try to listen to one of their songs. Um, I think this one is good to hear. It. This one is good to hear. It. It's just a. You can really tell a big, big difference in terms of audio improvement and quality so really that's just about it want to add one more effects for one more effect for this one um, but before that let's try to listen to it again on copyright music is ncs it stands for no copyrights i'm not sure if you can tell but definitely there's like um noise in the background here kind of like a a fan or something of that sort um let, let, let's listen to it again on copyright music is ncs it stands for no copyright sound okay so what i'm gonna do to improve that is i'm gonna go to the effects effects panel and then i'm gonna search for the noise um we can find it under noise reduction slash restoration and then i'm just gonna drag it to my audio clip here and from here from the effects effect controls um we can see that the denoise has been added and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna click on edit and there's actually uh, a slider here this is the only thing that i'm gonna use uh, for right now in order for me to improve the the noise reduction so i'm not gonna do anything yet let's hear it again just for the sake of a comparison sounds so they offer a lot of different music that we can use as you can see, upon adding the effects, it already kind of reduced the noise. Or So originally, it is like this. For our YouTube video. So if we go to... Moving the dial in near 50. Or the slider near 50. To their channel. You can see that the noise is visibly reduced. If I go to 100, for example. There... There are a lot of options that you can choose from and so as you can see it's or as you can hear and see it is so much better i don't want to put it into a hundred um just my personal preference i'll just kind of like um slide it uh, a little bit lower probably near 50 let's hear this they're really good music um in my opinion so i think i'm gonna leave it as that and then I'm just gonna uh, close this one and do all of the things that I did for this clips um, all throughout my project and my video clips, my remaining video clips. So I'm gonna do that. That's it, you guys. I hope this session um, helped you to improve your audio quality. And um, I hope you learned something new from today. I definitely learned a lot as well. So if you guys have any more suggestions when it comes to improving audio quality, please do comment them down below as I know that it will help me um, learn more and also all of the other subscribers that might want to learn how to um, do tweaking or adjustments on their audio using Adobe Premiere Pro. So Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you all have a good day or night or whatever time zone you are in. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!